Hello, welcome to Geologia Geral, and today we're going to talk about geochemical affinity. The formation of minerals is controlled by the geochemical affinity between elements and the ability of these elements to bond and start the process of crystallization of a certain mineral. This affinity was first determined by Goldschmidt, who observed the elements of the periodic table and individualized them into four main groups, lithophiles, siderophiles, chalcophiles, and ethnophiles. This allowed the possibility to know what would be the expected behavior of a certain element when present in a geological environment, whatever it may be. The formation of minerals is controlled by geochemical affinity between elements and the ability of these elements to bond and start the process of crystallization of a certain mineral. This classification represents the affinity of the elements to bind and form crystalline silicate structures for the group of lithophiles to bind to sulfur such as chalcophiles to show affinity with metallic iron, siderophiles or to present in the gaseous state atmophiles. This study and classification are important as they identify the elements that are most likely to be found in crystalline structure of these mineral classes. However, it must be used with caution since it represents the greatest affinity of the element when it's about to bond but can be found in another type of structure. For example, iron obviously has a higher siderophile affinity but is commonly found in biotite, pyroxene and olivine structures where it is found as lithophile affinity. In addition to being able to present itself in sulfide structures such as pyrite or chalcopyrite, showing chalcophile affinity in this case. So it is important to know the greater affinity of a particular element in relation to the type of bond that it has the preference of making and which mineral it has a preference for forming because it is thus possible to imagine the behavior of the element during a geological process and assist in the interpretation of how a particular rock was formed in addition to being very important for understanding the partition coefficient and mobility of the elements that will be discussed in further videos. Thank you for watching and see you soon.